What if you could do anything you wanted, whenever you wanted, go anywhere, see anything, eat, drink, and buy whatever you like, without worrying about your bank account, what your boss will say, or whether you'll be too old and tired to enjoy yourself. For many, this dream is far out of reach, right? But if you're watching this video, I'm guessing you're not the type of person who's going to settle for normal. So today, I'm gonna to show you how you can retire by 30, starting with absolutely nothing. So keep watching and you'll be sipping on cocktails with your feet up in no time. So many people get the wrong idea of retirement these days. We think that all we need to do is work hard while we're young, build up our pension, and then live happily ever after. But in reality, that's not the case. I mean, in the UK alone, the average pensioner receives just £246 per week, which is barely enough to cover living expenses, let alone your experiences and possessions. So it's crazy to think that living just above the poverty line is the idea of happy ending for most people. But that's just the sad reality. And if you want to escape this way of living, working a nine to five paycheck to paycheck isn't going to cut it. Others like the idea of mini retirements, which was coined by Tim Ferriss, who suggests that you should work hard on small businesses or projects, cash out, and enjoy a small period of retirement, and then get back to work and repeat. Sure, this is a step up, but you're still going to be bouncing from retirement fund to retirement fund without any true financial freedom. So neither of these ideas are good enough for me and you, okay? I want you to change the way you think and view retirement. Retirement shouldn't be seen as this end goal that you only get to cash in on after you've worked for 40 plus years. It should be seen as the opening to a new way of living. To put it in the words of uh, Fred Rogers, often when you think that you're at the end of something, you're actually at the beginning of something else. With that being said, let's figure out a concrete plan that you can follow step by step to grow your wealth and be able to retire before your 30th birthday. View these steps as milestones, okay? As you achieve each one, you'll be able to move on to the next stage and get even closer to your dream retirement. So the plan that I've come up with can be achieved in five steps. So let's take a deeper look into each step in a little more detail. So step one is to completely shift your mindset. Now, I want you to listen to this next bit because it's really important if you're serious about retiring before you're 30, okay? You're just not going to be able to live as everyone else does in their teens and 20s. I mean, whilst everyone else is out partying, drinking, and getting high, you're going to be working. You just have to take a look at pretty much every successful entrepreneur's schedule. Alex Hermosi is up at about 5 a.m. every single day, Elon Musk frequently puts in 100 hour work weeks. You're not going to be able to work this hard if you're burning the candle at both ends and partying every day or even just on the weekends. You also need to ignore keeping up with the Joneses. Every single cent is valuable and when you're trying to retire in such a short amount of time, you know, buying a car that you can't afford or that new Gucci top that, to be honest, looks like shit, isn't going to help you achieve your goals. So I like the way that Morgan Housel, who wrote The Psychology of Money, likes to frame this. He talks about sacrificing what you want today for potentially infinite rewards in the future. And when you think about it, he's totally right. You know, if you can refrain from buying that new BMW or Rolex for a few years and sacrifice your social life all for complete freedom, then that's got to be worth it, right? So yeah, times are going to be hard for a few years. You're going to need to work hard. You're going to need to sacrifice your social life and actually, you know, let go of impressing others. But everything has a price. And if it didn't, you know, everyone would have retired years ago, right? So once you've got to grips with the reality that retiring by 30 isn't going to be an easy path to take, it's time to find the magic number that will allow you to sit back and relax for the rest of your life. So this is the number that you're going to work for years to achieve. So it's a good idea to give it a good amount of thought. I mean, the last thing that you want is to underestimate how much money you need to invest, right? So the precise retirement figure is going to vary from person to person, but there is a formula that can help you with this. An absolute genius called William Bingen came up with something called the 25 times rule, which allows you to calculate how much money you'd need in the stock market to be able to withdraw a fixed amount each year. Let's break this down a little bit. So let's say you wanted to live off $75,000 each year. would multiply this by 25, which totals $1.87 million. The basic idea is that you could comfortably liquidate 4% of your portfolio, $75,000, with this much invested, and your portfolio 
portfolio would never decrease in value year by year according to market averages. So by now I know you're thinking, Dylan, how on earth am I ever going to earn nearly $2 million? I can barely afford my OnlyFans subscription right now, but hear me out. This is where the rest of the plan comes in. If you have an actual fixed amount of money to work towards, you're going to be doing better than 99% of the population. You've got one end goal, and now it's simply a matter of getting there in baby steps. So let me show you how. So we've got our plan for retirement in place, and now it's time to start taking the steps to achieve this plan. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is to give yourself a bit of financial security. So a lot of the time people hear about earning a 10% return on their money and you know immediately they dump every single penny that they have into an index fund without even thinking about their high interest debt or out of the blue expenses. And don't get me wrong, I mean getting started with investing is the right attitude but before you jump in head first it's a good idea to build yourself a bit of financial security. This starts with clearing off any high high interest debt that you may have accumulated. A recent study found, for example, that one third of Americans are carrying credit card debt from month to month. The interest on this kind of debt is absolutely obscene and it's much better to use any money to clear that off because you start investing because an APR of 30% is always going to outpace a 10% return on investment. To pay off any debt that you might have, there are two main methods to use. The first method is called the avalanche method. This is where you pay the minimum payments on all of your debt at the end of each month and use any leftover money to pay off the high interest loan. And over time, all of your debts will suddenly be paid off, a bit like how an avalanche suddenly comes out of nowhere. The second way is called the snowball method, where you make all of your minimum payments and then use anything left over to attack your smallest debt. This makes your repayments a bit like a snowball, which gradually picks up momentum as you keep paying off debt and don't have to worry about further payments. Now look, if you're in a lot of debt, I don't want you to worry because the average American isn't about $11,000 worth of debt. So you're probably not doing as bad as you think. And you'll remember that I started out in $60,000 of debt and now I'm making millions of dollars online, okay? Even if you're in more debt than everyone else, you can still work hard and achieve financial freedom. I mean, I read about this guy called Scott Allen Turner last year, he made a net worth of minus $70,000, but by 35, he was a self-made millionaire and had achieved financial freedom. So there's no reason why you can't either. Then once you've got yourself out of debt, it's time to build up an emergency fund. So an emergency fund is like a runway. I mean, a small pot of cash that you can use if anything unexpected comes up, like a medical bill, or even if you're fired from your job. Now this is going to stop you from going back into debt because you'll be able to cover anything unexpected expected that comes up. Essentially you want to save enough money where you could sustain all of your current costs for six months at least. And I can't stress the importance of an emergency fund enough, especially when you consider that around 60% of Americans are living paycheck to paycheck. So Vanguard founder John C. Bogle recommends about six months of living expenses as a general rule, like I just mentioned a second ago, and that's a great place to start, um, but my ideal is really 12 months at any given time. So once you've got your debt cleared and six months of savings saved and cash, you're going to be ready to begin your aggressive investing journey. Now, I want you to listen to this next part very closely because whenever you invest, you should be investing in a tax-free account. No one likes taxes and if you invest in a taxed account, you're going to have to give away nearly 20% of your capital gains. So get yourself both a Roth IRA and a 401k if you're in the US and an ISA or SIIP if you're based in the UK. And of course, wherever you're particularly based, you can do research research on these types of savings accounts. This is going to allow you to invest without having to share your profits with the tax man, ultimately helping you achieve retirement sooner. So we've got everything in place. Now the fun begins, okay? It's time to accumulate cash like there's no tomorrow. And the way that we're going to be doing this is by having multiple streams of income alongside your normal job. And it's a well-known saying that millionaires have on average seven streams of income, they say. And if you're going to achieve financial freedom before more people even begin to consider their future, you're going to need several streams too. Not only will this give you greater confidence and security because if one income stream dies, you'll have another to rely on, but it's also going to 
will allow you to just earn more money. And if you want an early retirement, earning more and more should be really your top priority. So how can we build multiple income streams? Well, I've got two words for you, side hustles. A single nine to five job just isn't going to provide you with the needed income that you've got to accelerate your retirement plan. But if you start a side hustle along with your job, you'll be able to start investing in passive income streams and get one step closer to financial freedom. Now, there are literally hundreds of side hustles that you can start this year from photography to car cleaning, but to help you make up your mind, I'd like to share an interesting statistic with you. A recent study found that 88% of millionaires earned their money through a business. So if you wanna bring in the big bucks, it's probably a better idea to devote your evenings to starting a business, right? And a business that has the potential of earning millions of dollars per year, rather than something like freelancing, for example, where you're just gonna be doing some extra work per hour, and it can bring in a few extra thousand dollars per month. So out of all the businesses that you could choose from, the easiest to start is always going to be a drop servicing business. Obviously I'm biased, I personally do drop servicing since 2015. Um, I've made millions of dollars doing drop servicing online. Uh, I teach people how to do drop servicing successfully from around the world. But this business model is so great in my opinion because it's cheap to start, you can even get started for free. It's pretty fast to get started with and the results are very scalable. So if you'd like to learn more about drop servicing, you can check out the free training in the description below this video. I'll teach you everything that I know, give you a template of what to say, tutorial what to do, you can sign up for free. And once you've got your side hustle up and running, you're going to be able to transition into passive income. So passive income allows you to earn money while you sleep and is one of the secret keys to achieving financial freedom. Passive income is like, you know, sending your money out to work each day and it's going to come back with more money for you. Passive income also allows you to disconnect your time from your ability to earn money, which is ultimately the end goal for us, right? And building passive income streams is actually a lot easier than you might think. There are three main streams that we're gonna be talking about here, the stock market, cryptocurrency, and real estate. So the stock market is probably the easiest way to grow passive income, and contrary to popular belief, you don't need to be an expert in investing to get started. All you need to do is sign up to a platform like Vanguard, open an index fund, and just put as much money into it as humanly possible. The great thing about it is you're not relying on a single stock, you're basically counting on the economy surviving and no one has ever lost money in an index fund for more than 30 years. So the goal here is long-term investing and remembering that time in the market is more important than beating the market. Now, the way that we're gonna make a lot of money with this is capital gains, which is basically the financial reflection of your investments increasing in value. And this is coupled with compound interest, which is where you start to earn interest on your interest. So it's going to allow you to withdraw that magic 4% out of your income each year without your portfolio shrinking. And many stocks also pay a small dividend, which is like a small thank you bonus that you get each year for investing in a company. Dividends can also be reinvested into your portfolio to get even more compound interest. Now, the second stream of passive income that I recommend you focus on is crypto. Now, don't get me wrong, the days of Dogecoin and overnight crypto millionaires are long gone. So investing in an altcoin probably isn't going to really make you rich anymore, okay? That being said, crypto is a great way to diversify your portfolio and earn a bit of passive income as your assets increase in value. You can even stake your coins for high interest rates for cash flow. And it's worth noting that crypto is a much more volatile market than stocks. So you should only invest a small amount into established coins. Otherwise, you're basically gambling. Next, we have real estate. And there's a reason why 90% of millionaires are invested in real estate. It's because this is one of the most efficient ways to grow your wealth. I mean, real estate, like stocks increases in value over time. But on top of this, you're also getting the added benefit of monthly cash flow from tenants who will literally pay your mortgage for you and give you extra cash that you can then reinvest into stocks. Now, nothing in life is free. And that statement rings very loud when it comes to real estate. I mean, saving for a deposit and securing good tenants isn't an easy or cheap thing to do. But if you can save up the money, you're going to be rewarded. Now, if you want a taste of real estate, consider a real estate investment trust or REIT. These are basically like stocks for property and allow you to invest a tiny portion of a commercial property. Just make sure that you do your research before you invest. They generally can be a bit more risky. So if you follow these steps, invest in assets and build passive income streams, you're going to be able to achieve your financial freedom by the time you're 30. And I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but if you've got a plan, all you need to do is start. Once you get going, seeing your net worth get closer to your end goal is going to become like a game. And before you know it, you're going to hit that goal. So again, listen, 
if you want to go deeper into how I personally make money online, check out the link to the free training in the description below this video. Comment below any questions you have for me as well. Just make sure you subscribe to this channel because I reply to all of my subscribers here. Like the video, share the video, check out one of the videos that you see on screen here, and I'll see you in the next video.